This program contains strong language, sexual scenes and racist language, which some people may find offensive. I was so happy to be moving on from school to college. You could start to become your own person. I think that was probably on the cusp of when I was realising that I was gay. Back then, it, no one talked about being gay, no one talked about being bisexual, lesbian, transgender. It was one of them things where if you were it, you just didn't speak. There was times I didn't want to be gay and I thought I just want to be like everyone else. Oh, when I was denying my sexuality, it was like, it, in fact, it was exhausting. I was living a double life because I was secretly texting boys. And then when it came to work, college, and my friendships and family life, I was talking about girls. Because we were kind of in the same boat together, it did feel very isolated and it almost felt a bit foreign. I didn't get to come out because I told someone and we were in a nightclub and they basically told someone who shouted it in front of everyone. And then when that happened, I knew I was gonna have to tell my mom. So then it kind of came to a moment where I had to come out. I got ridiculously drunk, burst into my mum's bedroom and sat on the edge of the bed. Nathan comes flouncing in as he does, drunk. I need to speak to you. I was in hysterics, I was crying, I was sobbing, I couldn't speak. And then I was just like, I'm gay. And I went, right, what do you want me to do? And then she's like, go to bed, you're drunk. So I went to bed and obviously being like, I was, I was so, so drunk. So the next morning when I woke up, I completely forgot about the whole situation. I got up the next morning and there he was in the kitchen. And I looked at him and I went, so you're still gay? I, like, at that moment, my whole world just stopped. My heart sank. I was like, I felt sick. I was like, I can't believe I've actually told her. And I was like, I didn't, didn't think I'd, I thought it was a dream. And I just replied, yes. My mum walked back through the front room, she said, go get dressed, we're going for dinner. We didn't really talk about it and discuss it because, to me, it's not an issue. He's still my son. I don't know why I was so scared to tell her because my mum is basically an adult version of me. And then I did say to him, I said, at the end of the day, Nathan, you're still my son, I love you. Doesn't matter what you are, you're my son. There's honestly no feeling like this in the world. It was like someone taking my shell off me and I was just free to move around so freely. I, I was like, a, almost, I'd become a fast snail. I could get to places where I wanted to be because I wasn't hiding anymore. I wasn't pretending to be something I wasn't. I was like, I was free to live the life I wanted to live. And it was just so liberating. He was carefree. He didn't worry about what people were going to ask him, whether he was going to get questioned about it. Subscribe now for loads of Mint Jordy Shaw vids. Is that right, No. Are you raggies? Subscribe now.